Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell by my voice, I'm still sick, as I said in the last video, but we're gonna ignore that. Because today I'm doing the not so popular anymore, but I've been wanting to do this forever now. Um, I'm going to be mixing all of my foundations together I have nine different foundations. Um, some of them are high end, some of them are drugstore. So yeah, let's just get started. So yeah, I have a bowl that I'm gonna mix them all in. I already put primer on and everything. So the first one I'm going to use is the Naked Skin One and Done from Urban Decay and this is in the shade Light. Never, I've used this one time and I hated it. So, we're just going to get that one in there real quick. Yeah. I don't know how much to put in these. Like, I don't know how much of each I should put in. But, we're going to figure it out and hope for the best. Um, the next one I'm going to use is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Coverage in Desert Beige. This one I've used a couple times, so. Right. I feel like I'm putting way too much in. Um, this is all I have so far, but yikes. And then I got the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Longwear Matte Foundation in the shade Bisque. I bought this once before. And it was a completely wrong shade, but I just never went back and bought a new one until now. So, yeah. Oh, God. I'm scared. Alright, so this one, which is my winter, or my summer shade one, I literally have to go in and get it out. Because if not, I'm going to be sitting here, like, pumping it out for like 20 minutes. If you guys don't believe me, watch. Like literally nothing is coming out. It's just splattering all over the bowl. Nothing. So, we're probably not gonna have that much of this one in here, but I actually miss this freaking shade in this foundation because it was like perfect. Ooh. All right, moving on to my winter shade. This one I know I have a lot of because I never wear foundation in the winter. I mean, I shouldn't wear foundation in the summer either, but whatever. Ooh, that was a lot. Oh well. And then I got the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade oh, do. Um, Vanilla. Now on the box it says you can customize it to the coverage that you want. So do I want light coverage, medium coverage, or full coverage? Light coverage is two drops, medium is three, full is four. One. Oh my god, it's like freaking water. Who does that? Do you guys hear that? I don't know if you guys heard that. I hate the sound. Okay, I put three drops in. And then I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Fairly Light Neutral. I've never used this before. I actually just got it on my birthday, which I showed in my birthday video, which if you haven't watched it, you need to link down below. Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm pretty excited to use it. I've literally never used it. It still has a seal on it. Um, 
All right. Very, very dark. All right, and then I have the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage, which I use all the time. And this is in the shade Classic Ivory. Again, this is a light one, it's very thick. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay, there we go. We got it. All right. And then the last one is the NYX Stay Nat. Stay Nat. Stay Matte, but not flat. Liquid foundation in the shade Creamy Neutral. Ooh, that was a lot. All right. Ooh, I'm skewed. I'm skewed. Cute. So I watch videos on this and most people mix their foundations with the brush. So I'm going to use this tiny little Morphe M321 brush. Oh, I'm so skewed. So that's what it looks like. Can't really see it, but it's in there. Oh, Lord. This may actually be like the perfect shade for me. Yay! Who would have thunk that? All right. There's not much in here, but I'm gonna go with the flow. So I'm gonna put this on so my brush is clean. All right, I guess I'm just gonna use my finger to put it on my face because I need to control how much I use. Um, Okay, so the bowl is like literally empty. So what I wanted to do was half on half my face, I want to use a sponge. And then on the other half of my face, I want to use a brush just to see like how they all apply, you know, on the face. Right. Here goes nothing. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, it's obviously not my freaking shade, but like, whoa. Oh my god. People. Whew. This is something else, let me tell you. I watch YouTube videos and they're all like, oh my god, like insane results or insane reaction. And I'm like, why? It's just foundation. But now I'm like, whoa. Like, this is something else, y'all. I'm impressed. I am actually, I don't even have my freaking light on. That's how scared I am. Woo! Here we go. Um, wow. All right. So this side is all done. Wow. All right, now I'm gonna use the brush. This is the Morphe M439. 
and I'm just going to buffer it in. I need a mirror because I need to see how my mirror wasn't dirty. So this is the result. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's definitely like the full coverage that most of these foundations are this foundation is probably what fucked it up um i am sorry urban decay i love your products and stuff but mm -mm. so i think i fucked up there but everything else is all full coverage i mean i've used I've used all of these except for these four. Um, oh, these three. Um, but I mean, together I've never used them, so I can't really say you know one's better than the other. Yada yada yada. But whoa, now it looks good. All right, I don't know what just happened or what the hell fixed it, but it looks good now. And it's definitely oxidizing, like up here. Um, but I can't complain. So I'm gonna set this. Actually, I'm gonna do my concealer first. So I can set everything. <laughs> Do y'all see that? I just picked that out of my freaking makeup bag without even looking. And I got a shit ton of stuff in there. I mean, I ain't bragging, but... I am. <laughs> Alright. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Cotty Airspun um, face powder. It'll just, it just won't work. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bake for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try and bake all over. Just see what happens. So, you know, you can't bake it too much, you know what I mean? I mean, you can, but it'll still look good. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go bake for like two minutes and then I'll come back and figure out what we're doing next. Actually, I'm just gonna wipe this off now because I kind of want to just. All right. So I'm gonna go do my eyes and my all that jazz and stuff. Um, so I will come back when I'm done. All right, so I'm back. I did the rest of my makeup. I did my eyes, my eyebrows, my contour, highlight, blush, blah, 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 you know. You know the deal. So, my final thought on mixing all of your foundations together. Um, first thought is very strange. Second thought is 
very very full coverage I am very surprised um it didn't you know it didn't um, do anything to my highlighter my bronzer anything um, it went on like it normally does with the foundation that I use every day um, so honestly I think this is like pretty cool I mean I think I mean I wouldn't necessarily always mix your foundations together because it would probably cause you a lot of acne but it's very fun to do and I think that all of you guys should do it if you haven't already so I am exhausted I'm coughing my brain out but I wanted to end out this video for you guys so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was entertaining. I think it was entertaining. I pretty much watched everybody do it, so I think it's pretty ent enter entertaining, to say the least. Um, um, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, and... For more vlogs coming your way very very soon so yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye